Hey everyone, Luck Toss here. Well, yesterday Reb put up a part two dev workshop for the proposed Warframe Day login reward changes. So I'm gonna go through them and discuss things from my perspective. Before I get into the intro and main video, I just wanted to say a huge welcome to any new subscribers, which might've come from my recent Chroma Prime accessories review video. And of course, a big hello to all my current subscribers and viewers who watch my vids generally. Send some comments my way, like my videos as well. You guys are the true MVPs. Now, I previously did a video when DE released the first dev workshop where I went through the proposed changes and I gave my thoughts there. If you haven't watched it, pause or stop this vid, whatever works for you, and click on the link which I've included in the video description below and take a look at my thoughts in that video. A lot of stuff, including my feelings on daily login rewards, are in that video. And to be honest, with the changes I'll talk about in the part two side of things, most of my opinions from the first video hasn't changed. All right, so now we've got the intro stuff out of the way, let's take a look at the proposed changes to Warframe Day Login Rewards Part 2. Now before I get into DE's newly proposed changes, I'm going to talk about milestones generally, which does mirror certain aspects which I discussed in my first video. If you want to bypass this bit and go straight to the proposed changes, you can find a time link in the video description below. Milestones. Oh, milestones. This is one where you've got a large number of differing thoughts from Tenno relating to how, say, weapons and prime mods are available in the game. You've got the, I had to log in for 700 days to get the Sigma and Octanus so you can feel my pain type of Tenno who want to see the weapons remain exactly where they are, no exceptions. You know, I also like to think of this particular Tenno's attitude as the when I was a boy type of attitude. You know the one, speaking with your grandpa who tells you back in the day he worked 12 hours straight, came home, worked in the garden or did house maintenance for another six hours, collapsed in bed for six hours and rinsed repeated seven days a week. And that's what you should be doing now, Santa Jim. Well, Grandpa, times have definitely changed. Now, whilst the Grandpa example is a pretty far-fetched one, what I'm trying to get at is just because a group of Tenno have already got their login rewards for the upper echelon day login weapons, for example, why should that stop a change which could remove an MR-capable item from the daily login reward scheme and put them in, say, boss fights or a 30-minute run on mop or something else instead for example. Warframe is a constantly evolving game. I remember back in 2013 shortly after open beta began, like a week after, I signed up and started playing Warframe. I was playing solo most of the time back then too. Now I stopped playing a short time after starting due to one major thing. If you died and revived four times on missions prior to server reset, that was it for the day. Or you'd have to pay platinum, Warframe's premium currency to get more lives. Seriously. At the time, I thought that was the dodgiest crap in town, and Warframe then went on to sit collecting dust in my Steam library until 2017 rolled around when I came back to the game. Now, DE had long ago made the change to remove that dud revives decision back in the day, and I'm glad they did. But based on the logic of some Tenno, should that choice and other like it in Warframe never have happened? Because those Tenno went through those periods. Yeah, nah. Get over it and embrace change, my friends. Now, you've also got the gotta collect them all type of Tenno, who, like I saw yesterday on the Warframe forums, a Tenno stated that they allegedly went from a brand new account to MR25 in 99 days, which is a ton of grinding in a short period of time. So now I guess they'll actually have time to learn how to play the game and, and the weapons they've leveled up so quickly. But those Tenno will be waiting a long time to get the likes of the Sigma and Octanus, which may induce possible burnout if that Tenno isn't burnt out from getting to 20 MR25 in 99 nine days already if they have to wait a ridiculously long time to get it. Now the examples I just went through are some of the many different types of Tenos who play Warframe and have their various reasons or wants within the game. Now prior to putting this video together, I was looking over my previous video I did for the day login rewards and Slippery Elm had a really good suggestion that I reckon would be another, could be another option for the weapons. Now in saying this, Login rewards is probably the wrong place to have these weapons. As you said, not much effort needed to turn on your computer each day. So let's remove weapons and maybe attach them to hours played. Just a thought. Now an argument could be made that, well, someone could leave their frame idling in the orbiter and get the weapons that way. Well, like Slippery Elm said, it would be based on hours played. So basing it off Warframe's in-game hours, which bases time played off actual mission runs, would be the way to go compared to Steam's, which is pretty much just counting the time for when Warframe is active 
and you could just have spent 2,000 plus hours AFK while your frame is idling in the orbiter. Although I'd hope not, because you know, you'd probably get, be getting expensive power bills, of course. Look, I've probably wibble wobbled over the place here, but what I'm trying to get at is it won't be the end of Warframe if something like removing weapons from daily login rewards actually happens. If anything, it will help the anticipated influx of new tenno coming when DE ramps their advertising campaign up and launches Fortuna later this year to actually have, say, an achievable goal of getting the Sigma and Octanus for progressing far enough through the star chart to, say, defeat Kaleth the Dathame or the Ambulus, for example. So let's go through DE's complete proposed changes for login rewards and just to make it a little bit easier, all the numbers, day brackets and stuff that'll be coming your way, I've prepared a few images and don't worry, it hopefully won't be a death by PowerPoint type of thing. So first off, DE are locking in the Lodestar C and Data and Lodestar armor sets to 800 and 1000 day logins respectively. I have neither of these items and based on feedback that I've seen online, none really too complimentary might I add, I honestly don't care where these rewards fall. On the major milestone days, every 50 days between uh, zero days and a thousand days, you get up to three choices. Now those choices will go in the chronological order of items as they currently are. So on login days 50, 100, 250 and so on, you'll get to choose from up to three sigils and resources items. On every 200, 400 and 600 login days, you'll be able to choose from Prime Fury, Prime Vigor and Prime Shred. There you messed up here though because Prime Sure Footage drops on day 900 currently and I'll get to it shortly but for day 1050 and beyond there'll be a new system in place to so prime sure footed may have to go the way of Barrow offering it given as a difficult mission alert or something else because otherwise it doesn't really have a date where it can be obtained by Tenno if the Tenno hasn't got it and you've got the sea and data at 800 days and the armor set locked in at the thousand days mark or D could just leave prime sure footed out of the general selection mix and have 900 days log in just for it as the login weapons currently stopped with the Sigma and Octanus on day 700. On a side note here, kind of wish DE had just combined the Sigil, Resources and Prime Mod options into the one pool. I'd rather just get Prime Mods and be done with it and the Resources and the nice bonus but not something I'd be interested in say over Prime Vigor for example. And finally, the weapons which every 100, 300, 500 days, and up to 700 days for Sigma and Octanus, you'll have an option to choose the one you want. Regardless of what happens here, Sigma and Octanus will be locked behind the 700 days barrier, which in my books is just a dud move. Now, the changes coming for 1,050 days login and beyond include, from day 1,050 onwards, what they are calling evergreen reward choices will be rotated every 50 days. Now, I had to go to Dr. Google for what evergreen meant, because I had no idea, and there are some interesting and fitting definitions, but I think this one about evergreen content is probably the best fit. Evergreen content is content that is always relevant, much like the way evergreen trees retain their leaves all year round. Interesting and relevant content that does not become dated is necessary in order to be found online by search engines. Thank you, Dr. Google. So on day 1050, you get to choose one of the following items. Evergreen choices, A, you choose one. Three times former, three times Exilus adapters, and four times weapon slots. Now the weapon slot one appears to be causing a little bit of controversy, but my thoughts are you can't have enough weapon slots, especially with DE aiming to have Warframe's MR go all the way up to 30, which means there's still plenty of ingenious and inventive weapons to come along. I don't mind this one at all. I tell you what, you know what I wouldn't mind seeing drop though? The Exilus adapters and replaced with three with ribbon slots instead. Look, Exilus adapters are easy to get through getting the blueprint from Samaras or buying them for 20 plat each through the marketplace. But once you get all your frames kitted out, and, and by day 1050 I'd suggest in most circumstances that would be the actual case, Exilus adapters would likely be a dud pick from the group. Now Rivens are a great reward from sorties and it's 60 plat for 3 slots. Seriously, what a rip. I can't believe I don't see many, so many people getting annoyed by just how expensive those slots are. They would be a lot better value. Oh, and just on Rivens, D please. Either remove completely or increase the current ribbon limit of 90. Sure, you could sell some ribbons or even transmute them if you want, but why have a limit in the first place? Ah, uh, but that's probably a topic for a different video on a different day. All right, so now we move on to day 1100, where you'll get to choose from the following items. Evergreen choices, rotation B, 50,000 Kuva, seven day boosters, so like your affinity credits and resource boosters, or 30,000 endo. For me, this is an easy choice every time and the 50,000 Kuva is just too good to uh, go past. Now, when rotation C ro rolls around, which is day 1150, you'll get to choose from the following items. Three times rifle ribbons, three times melee ribbons, 
or three times secondary ribbons. And it's interesting to see shotgun ribbon mods not getting included here, other than the fact that each choices pool only has three options and shotgun options looks like it's been squeezed out. I'd be interested to see if there's any other reasoning from DE why shotgun ribbons aren't featuring as an option. Especially when you think how many melee ribbons we seem to get over the other types. Well, that's in my experience anyway. And when you reach 1200 days login, you'll revert back to the Evergreen Choices A. And when you reach 1250 days, it'll go to Evergreen Choices B and moving on from there, 1300 days, Evergreen Choices C, and so on. Now, moving on to scaling rewards for non-milestone days now. Login bonuses from non-milestone days will scale based on how many days you log in, and it will affect potential rewards, including endo, credits, yeah, booster durations, resources, syndicate medallions, relics, and former blueprints. And the example DE gave on day one, you'll get one Telerium. On day 1000 login, you'll get six Telerium, which is Still better than one in my books. The one thing I'm honestly not looking forward to with the new system is seeing a Warframe NPC greet you every day and congratulate you for logging in. Warframe has a real problem in my books around monotony through voice lines such as Ordus analyzing Grenier intelligence for the five billionth time, or when on mission, Fake Lotus letting us know on a Grenier mission that the Grenier are apparently after us on every single Grenier mission. Now I'm a real fan of minimalist design with a bit of flair of course. I'm more of a fan of the way the Warframe UI was previously designed compared to what we currently have, and I love the simple beauty and elegance of the current daily reward login screen. What I don't need to see is a big honking screen with, say, Ordis or Davo, Clem, well, actually, Clem, I don't mind so much, popping up and saying the same lines without change for the next two years. It is going to get boring real quick. And you bet I'll be skipping that option, if I have the option to skip it, in no time at all. And finally, I'm just going to focus on this sentence D have used when wrapping up the dev workshop. We've made it only slightly more flexible while still respecting the core need to log in frequently. Now, apart from the evergreen rewards for, day, say, day 1050 and beyond, have DE really changed that much with these proposed changes? Sigma and Octanus is still locked to day 700 login. Prime sure footed for the moment still looks to be locked in at 900 days. And hey, let's reward people for Starting, starting up Warframe and never actually doing a mission because it helps these metrics on Steam and consoles to say they've got a ton of daily players. But are the players actually active though? That detective is the right question. Well, that's it for me and this video. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for listening to my thoughts on part two of the daily login rewards dev workshop for Warframe. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the topic. And when I say thoughts, I mean, if you agree with me, disagree with me, I don't mind either way. I'd love to hear what you think and see how this proposed day login rewards changes might affect your time in Warframe. Let me know what you think in the comments section below, on Twitter at LuckTorse, or on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash LuckTorse. Have a good one, guys, and hope RNG is always on your side. Cheers.